What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be testing if you can beat Grandmasters without mules. Now this challenge might be one of the most difficult I've ever attempted. I did do a little bit of experimenting before with playing without macro mechanics, playing Protoss without Chrono Boost, and it feels freaking awful. Like I'm pretty scared, but I'm going to do my best. Let's begin. This is game number one, and this challenge is going to work pretty much the same way as my usual can you beat Grandmasters with insert stupid challenge <laughs> episode so i'm gonna start off by playing against a platinum player then a diamond then a master and then a grandmaster unless i get absolutely destroyed before then i think we can conclude that you can in fact not beat grandmasters uh without yeah, mules goodness. now i did consider making this like no macro mechanics in general but i do like the idea of experimenting at the same time with the supply depot drop builds because i i think what was that video oh i guess it was the video where i wasn't allowed to make more than one supply depot right where i tried a couple builds with dropping my first supply depot already uh, by using the orbital i think it's call down supply i think that's what it's called just to make sure you can make your cc a little bit faster you don't have to spend 100 minerals on supply or on a supply depot and i think that's pretty cool so i think i should just do the same build as normal i guess we're gonna have to do a lot of experimenting here because i'm not sure what the right build is gonna be but trust me guys this is gonna feel i wonder if it's gonna look as bad for you guys as it's gonna feel for me because i have done stuff like this before like i said in the intro where i play without macro mechanics and i just i just have absolutely no units like my supply is so low and it feels very very rough now we should be able to defeat the platinum if we can't then maybe i should change the challenge and do something else today unless you guys want to watch me lose to a diamond as well and then a master and a grandmaster actually it might be kind of fun i think i'm going to give myself two lives just like i did in the last challenge if i lose two games then that's gonna be it for the video uh, so i'm gonna make an orbital i i just i don't know why i just feel like going for a reactor first so that's what i'm gonna do now i believe uh i unhotkeyed the mule i actually took that advice from you guys because in the supply depot video i kept making supply depots on accident and then having to check and cancel them so it's obviously way smarter to just remove it from your hotkey so i'm pretty sure i did that unless i uh, re change my account without realizing or something i'm not sure yeah so i can't actually drop the mule from this uh, i guess i could have skipped this depot i can also scan right away that would be kind of funny um I, I guess i'll just save it for now i mean i don't really have any use for it yet so i'm gonna save the energy maybe at some point i feel like doing a scan depending on what i see so my opponent there has 100 gas and he's mining more which uh can mean one of two things either he's cheesing me or his build is not as sharp as a pro player's build which I think it's the most likely explanation considering my opponent's platinum and not rank 13 grandmaster. Now, I do feel a little bad killing this overlord because that's pretty devastating. So I, I think I'm going to let him get away with this one. I'm not going to go easy on him for the rest of the game. But with this one, I'm going to let him get away because that just feels awful. I know a lot of these guys, they uh, get a little nervous when playing gets me on YouTube for the first time. So that's probably a little bit of a, a nervous mistake. So I'm going to let him get away with that one. Let's see if my opponent's planning to take a third base or not. So what I'm going to do here is a build that is... Wait, should I actually make a second orbital? Th that might be a little bit of a waste, right? Um, I guess I'll explain my build first. So I want to do like a little bit of an ancient build, which is uh, I go for a very fast double medevac drop, but without making stim. So it hits way faster, but it doesn't have stim. Um, and that way you can kind of mess with the Zerg's timings a little bit. But yeah, lo looking at my money right now, I think the second orbital should probably be skipped. Wait, this is actually going to get a little awkward for my build because normally what you do at this point as a Terum is you start walling off the front with depots. But that's like the only... You actually, I'm going to do a scan because why not? Hey, it actually worked! <laughs> okay. The reason why this is funny, I think a lot of you might not understand this, is that scanning that early always is really horrible as Terran. Scanning instead of dropping a mule just costs too much money. Like, it really sucks. So I would never do something like that. But now, I might as well spend my energy, right? So I dropped a very early scan that I actually see a freaking roach ward, which is pretty hilarious. Now, I didn't get the second gas early because I didn't have the money for it. I guess I might as well drop this depot as well. Um, I guess that is quite nice. I mean, I don't have to build that many depots, but as you can tell, my build is already being a little slower. I didn't have the money because of the lack of mules to build that second gas, so then I didn't have the gas to make the second medevac right away. No, it's, it's not all bad, to be honest. Like, it was just a slight delay, and it's gonna be all right. I'm gonna make one Widowmine. Um, I think I need something on the defense against... 
Like, I, I kind of still want to go for a drop. I'm going to do another scan. Okay, so he's actually attacking me with roaches. There, wait, this build's actually working out, guys, because I actually have enough scans. I, I definitely think in the next couple of games, I shouldn't be uh, making the second orbital because it does feel a little wasteful. I guess I do have a lot of depots, which is nice. Uh, but for this game, it is actually working out. So my opponent, I did see a roach at home. I'm very tempted to go for the counter. Wait, actually, I want to make a CC here instead of a uh, depot. I feel like that would be a little nicer. There we go. I think I have three too many Marines. If I saw that correctly, do I have indeed three? I think it was... Okay, well, I have four Marines, so that's perfect. I'm just going to put them into the bunker. And then I'm going to switch these over. Uh, I guess I'll just go for like a double reactor factory. I want to go into Cyclones. I did discover yesterday something that I didn't like seeing. Is that the Cyclone meta in TVZ is now pretty awful so before i cyclones were mostly good in the early game but i actually enjoyed playing cyclones in macro games uh, against zerg but they nerfed them so you can't keep locking on anymore and now it's just really bad so that, that kind of sucks for me because i did enjoy playing that style for a little bit i don't necessarily think it was a bad change because the cyclones in general yeah, not the most fun unit to go up against. Like, a lot of all ins were, like, super powerful and stuff. But my macro style getting nerfed, that did hit uh, home a little bit. So I guess I could either do another scan. Should I just make a third orbital? I, I guess getting the perfect information the entire game is quite nice. Let's see what we have here. He is a lair. <laughs> okay, he doesn't have a lot of drones. That's, that's actually good intel for me. So now I know to not run across the map yet. Since he has the lair, that could mean he already has road speed. And since he has no drones, that means he does have more units than normal. I do have to say I want to compliment him on doing this. He made extra units compared to normal which i think is just smart when you're playing in someone who's probably going to be a little faster than you because if you noticed he had units in position in every base i attacked yet which is very rare even for grandmasters to have right like very often even in games against grandmasters i can outspeed them but he made sure to have so many units and have them all in position and keep in mind guys like my macro is not going to be that great because of the lack of meals like my supply for now is pretty decent the fact that i got up to 100 supply at this point actually kind of surprises be like that's really not so bad uh, but it's still gonna get worse and worse so him going for the macro game like that is quite smart now there's only four roaches here so i think i'm just gonna drop past this and go into the main these marines are gonna get less and less useful over time because i'm not making um stim or any other upgrades for them right so i'm just gonna do this get them in over here now i'm gonna make another tech cloud i don't even have all my gases yet which looks a little bit ridiculous guess how actually i'm gonna do a scan here instead i want to guess he probably has about 50 drones i have 64 scvs he definitely should have had more drones but that's because he was playing really safe of course yeah exactly yeah okay this is what i thought he has a big army my army is not that big yet and i don't even have the upgrades for or the upgrade for the cyclone so my cyclones are actually slower now if we can kill these links right away that's really nice so just to clarify what they actually nerfed is that before you could lock on non-stop there was no cooldown on lock on but now i think there's three seconds of cooldown so if you lock onto a zirkling it's gonna die almost instantly then you can't lock onto the roaches after that so that's gonna be quite painful i guess i'm just gonna do another scan he's taking another gas over here i think we're getting to the point where i can attack and i mostly based it off of his movement decision so he wanted to go for an attack uh, and then he backed off and mostly what you're gonna do after that is make drones right because you have to transition he realized his attack oh he, he's still gonna try but i thought his, he realized his attack was most likely not gonna work uh, and thus he could go for uh, droning up but instead i think yeah he did actually drone up but he stayed on my side of the map now lucky for him i don't have the speed up oh actually just finished i believe so never mind that wait did it finish no it didn't finish okay i thought it, for some reason they looked faster than me than they normally would so i thought it was getting a little crazy there guess i'll add a couple more factories and after killing that army we should be able to move across the map so i think judging from the supply in this game i can already tell where the weaknesses are the the early game is honestly not that bad i think the scans are quite nice but at this point in the game i should 100 percent be maxed especially on this composition so when i'm in the mid game i'm definitely going to be like about 50 supply down compared to where i should be and that is very very painful i think in particular i didn't even think about this but if i lose workers guys if i get harassed by something that kills my workers i'm not really going to be able to survive that T Terran already kind of struggles with that. If you lose a bunch of workers early on, you are kind of screwed already. Um, but if I lose workers now when I don't have mules available, that's going to be extra freaking painful. Now, funny enough... Oh, I, I, I was going to say, funny enough, I don't have a scan, but I did just get one. That upgrade is taking forever, by the way. Did they change that too? 
Wait, I think my phone... Yeah, my opponent forgot road speed. Oh, that's a little painful. At least I'm pretty sure he did, right? Yeah, he did forget road speed. I was wondering why his roaches were struggling so much, but he doesn't have road speed, so now it all of a sudden makes a lot more sense. Yeah, like, these roaches are supposed to get on top super fast, but instead they're struggling super hard. Oh, that's another painful... Uh, yeah, a little bit of a mistake there. And those are just mistakes that people tend to make a little bit when they're nervous, so that's unfortunate. But he did make a lot of good moves. I... Hopefully my cyclists are going to win this. You can tell they're definitely a lot weaker than they were before. But we are going to be able to clean it up. And there we go. GG is called. First game was about 10 minutes. And this game, I... I think it went about as I expected. Like, it wasn't exactly inspiring because I did indeed have very little units. Like, 10 minutes in the game normally, I think I'd probably be on, like, 5 or 6 bases easily maxed with a lot of upgrades. I only have one upgrade here for the Cyclones. I got my speed upgrade very late, so maybe we should go for something more early game focused. Maybe the next time I can go for, like, an early game attack, use the Supply Depot drop to make it hit a little bit faster. Maybe that's the right idea. For now, fantastic warm-up game. Let's go for the Diamond game. All right, the second game is on Dynasty against a Diamond Terran called Calyx. Now, to add a little bit of context here, guys, I actually played against him before. This is the second game I'm playing against him. The other game, I won pretty convincingly uh, because he did a pretty rough early game build. He went for three racks Reaper, which kind of plays into the only strength of my build order, which is that I can drop a depot. Uh, but for some reason, my internet always starts lagging at the same part of the day. So the entire game was super laggy and I figured it would be quite annoying to watch i'm just gonna play again and at the same time it's quite nice because he seems like a very nice guy he's very appreciative of the content i think it would be nice to give him a rematch and hopefully he does a build that's a little better suited for the challenge i think maybe after that game he realized that maybe he shouldn't be so aggressive on one base because like literally i i think the one advantage well i guess it's two advantages right the one advantage that i have that i truly see in as, as an advantage is that i can skip the first or the second supply depot because I can call down one, meaning that my defense is going to be up faster. So what happened is he went for a three ranks Reaper. I could actually make my second barracks faster because I didn't have to spend 100 minerals on the second depot. So that's like the one actual strength that this build has and he played into it. So hopefully he realized that and he is not going to go for that same mistake again. And the other advantage is obviously the scans. Like being able to scan non-stop I mean, it, it feels kind of good because I'm not allowed to use mules. If I was allowed to use mules, I would always rather get the couple hundred minerals you get per mule, right? Rather than do a scan, unless you really have to. But since I, I don't feel guilty at all because I'm not allowed to use mules, it feels freaking great to see everything with the scans. Like, it actually is quite nice. Now, let's see if he does something different. I already don't see extra barracks. The last game, he already had these extra barracks. He could be going for the gold base. This map is pretty crazy, by the way. Let me show you guys. Uh, if you guys I haven't seen this map before. Yeah, you did go for the gold base. Uh, this map has an in-base gold. And you would say, wh why do you not take this? Because you can attack this from the back. So if you're not going to defend that, like, perfectly, I, you're going to be in trouble to units attacking that gold from the back. So that's going to be a little bit of a, yeah, high-risk, high-reward move from him, I suppose. Like, if it's going to pay off. Dude, I keep trying to... You guys saw that? I kept trying to drop the mule. I was wondering, like, something just felt off to my brain, you know? I kept trying to drop the mule and nothing came down. And I was like, all right, I have it on hotkey. I have to get a little used to get because I, I did take a little bit of a break because of the, uh, the lags that I mentioned earlier. Uh, so my, my brain is not quite focused but that's funny okay so i guess i'll just go for a second gas now i do want to pressure this um as much as i can wait can i no okay that okay i i was so curious if that would i mean maybe you can honestly it's possible like sometimes it's like a perfect spot that you have to find you know it might by the way if i jumped over i would have lost the reaper so thank goodness that it didn't work that would have been very painful now let's see what he's gonna go for up here second barracks and a factory okay so I think um, we are going to be in a good spot if I make Cyclones. Because I didn't see a reactor there. Which means that my opponent is not going to have his own double Cyclone. He could have one, but not two. He could potentially go for a fast siege tank, but that's not going to come online before my two Cyclones hit, I believe. So these two Cyclones should be able to deny his gold, I think. And I'm going to go for a Starport. And I suppose I'm just going to use my Orbital Energy to go for a scan. And... Then I can decide, based on what I see, if I want to go for a Raven or a Banshee. 
I, I could actually I could go for a liberator too, right? If it's a tank right away, I could go for a liberator. Guess I'll just drop one depot because I am gonna reach that limit pretty soon. I'm gonna send the Reaper in the main now because that's gonna be like the perfect distraction for me. Yeah, so it is gonna be a tank. He does have um, a starport. So I think I'm gonna go for the Banshees instead of the the Liberator because one Viking would shut down a Liberator pretty easily. He's gonna try to surround this. He doesn't have that many Marines, it looks like. He's probably focused on getting a tank out to his uh, natural, which makes a lot of sense because this is the most important thing that he has right now. Wait, the Reaper's actually baiting the tank. Oh, that is massive. Look at that. The tank came back to the main. Uh, and now, oh, that's actually perfect. And now I'm going to go for Banshees. And I think... Uh, actually, I don't need that depot yet. That's fine. Wait, he sees the tank over there. Oh, no. I, I actually think he had the... Well, I was going to be a little bit ahead, admittedly. But he did have the perfect build to defend this. Like, one tank would shut down all the Cyclones until the Banshee came to annoy him, right? So, I think rather than lifting off, it would have been better if he actually stuck to the strategy and tried to defend that with a tank. Now, he can always defend this with a tank as well. It's not the biggest deal. He's going to go for a third CC. So, his third CC is actually faster than mine. And I'm going to go for my double Banshee. Notice how there's no tech lab here. So, there's not going to be a Raven on that. I guess that is the power of the scans. Now, taking this base is always going to be questionable on TVT. I, I think yeah, pretty much in any matchup, it's always going to be questionable, right? Because it is just a, a little sketch to take that base. Um, but the thing is, this is a very important thing. I feel like you want to control this part of the map. Like, imagine he doesn't take this base. What's going to happen is that I can unload my entire army inside his main base technically for free over and over. Like, the drops are going to be freaking brutal right so i think i want to control this and just take the map with my army to make sure he doesn't drop me what i, I want to make sure i have this i can make turrets put some tanks and as long as he doesn't siege his entire army over here it should be okay now at this point i think i'm just gonna drop down another scan just to see the positioning of his army it looks like he retook the gold base now so i'm gonna go there now with my army actually i can use my banshees for that i believe let's see yeah so he has one tank over there there's actually one more tank than i realized so that's good by him I guess I'll just go for... Okay, he's scanning me back now. I am I hope you realize I'm only scanning because I, I can't drop mules because scanning is expensive. Admittedly, that one scan is totally fine, by the way. Like, that one scan is actually totally fine. So, oh, these two benches are going to pop off. He's going to lose a tank instantly. He's going to lose a lot of workers. And now at the same time... Wait, I can maybe even kill that command center. So he's going to go for a scan, but scanning is always pretty rough. I think he's barely going to lose it right yeah oh my god we killed them with just a couple that is freaking painful i'm playing mech as well so the more uh ahead i'm gonna get the more painful is gonna be for him because mech is usually harder to kill when uh you find yourself behind because he's just so strong defensively now i'm gonna go for a raven here probably a couple ravens actually i think that would be quite nice actually i still have some depots that i can launch so i don't have to make extra depots yet it, it is pretty hard to do this in the macro game because i just look at the supply and i realize i need more supply depots but the first thing that comes to my mind is just to build more depots because it's just 100 minerals but realistically i should just be uh dropping the depots right now, do I need to make more barracks? I do think... Wait, did I make an engineering bay? I thought I did. doesn't look like I did, though. I want to get, like, a bunch of turrets and the sensor towers up and stuff. Let's see. So, he didn't make a turret here. He does have a double... Wait. No, okay. I misclicked. Or... I, I thought he had plus one armor because the SUV... What is he doing? Because the... <laughs> because the SUV didn't die. I, I do that very often, by the way. So, I'm not going to judge it for that. For some reason, that is, like, my most common mistake. Wait. Wait a second. The... Am I crazy or did that just not shoot for... Is one of those pillars a high ground? Is this a high ground? Somehow? It, it really looked to me like that turret didn't shoot. Either... I, I think I might be going insane because that, that doesn't seem right. I mean, it's such a small pillar. Like, I... I could have sworn that turret, turret did not shoot for a second there. It, that, there's no way that's intentional if that's the case. I, I, I'm going to assume I saw it wrong because that's absurd. But uh, that looked kind of crazy to me. Like, it actually felt like there was a delay between that turret shooting. Now, I did lose my map pressure a little bit by having either dead Banshees or low HP Banshees. Uh, oh, need to run before I get one shot here. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to control uh, patrol a couple Cyclones around here. Just so I can see the drops coming across. And I'm mostly worried... 
about this. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. Now, I do have two turrets there, so I don't think he's going to be able to drop inside. So I just think I can send my army to the back. Like, it's just a very small army. He's actually... It looks like he wants to try. I do have enough units over here as well. But I do think he would probably just suffer if he did. Actually, I'll just leave this small camp over here for now. Where did I leave my banshees? My banshees are here. I guess I could have gone for banshee speed as well. That wouldn't have been that bad. Um, but it's... I think it's fine. I mean, Banshee speed, realistically, since he was making turrets already, wouldn't be that useful in theory. It's just that I always feel like these random pieces of value with them that I really want to want or makes me want to play them, I guess I should say. Now, at this point, I'm going to... Actually, I'll just leave one tank here because it... Like, normally, you're afraid of siege tanks, right? Because siege tanks can siege pretty far. Um, I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. Siege tanks can siege from pretty far and kill this, so you need an army behind. But since he's just dropping marines, I think it's going to be totally fine. I guess I'll just shadow this with a couple banshees. I'm not quite sure if he left units inside or if he dropped every single one. If he did, there's uh, nothing to be worried about. But wait, why? Are... They're mining it from... Dude, I swear, I, this map, for some reason, it just makes me go crazy. Like, th did I do that? There's also, like, these random minerals here that could get mined. Like, I... Why were they mining that from the back? Like, I'm actually not quite sure. Did I maybe click it from the wrong side? Let's see. Now, these SUVs are going to go uh, on the on the proper route, at least. And I'm going to see these over here. This is going to be very painful for him because he will lose his entire army. That's a really good preemptive scan, by the way. Applause to him. Wait, guys. Wait, this could actually be crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. My tactic failed because of my challenge. Wait, I wonder if anyone realizes what I was going to do. If you realize what I was going to do, I'm going to give you five, give, give you guys five internet points in the comments. This mineral patch had so little resources left that I was going to drop two mules to mine it out so my cyclones could pass and run into the main. That would have been such a cool play, but I'm not allowed to drop mules. I, I can't believe even in this challenge, my brain is thinking of these freaking crazy challenges within my challenges uh, just to go for. I'm actually surprised how fast that mined out, by the way. Like, that is pretty crazy. But my army here is freaking massive. He didn't save the SCVs either. He could still save them. Is he fast enough? Doesn't look like he is going to. That turret is going to die as well, so my Vikings are going to stay alive. And that is going to be it for Kallax. So, even though my supply is low, what seems to be the case so far in this challenge is that um, the early game is still very clean. Which means that if my opponents don't manage to get all the way into the macro game, like into the late game stage, they're still going to be in a big amount of trouble. Because here, sure, I got max pretty slow, 11 minutes, probably like 3. Or maybe if you play mech like 2, 2.5 minutes later, then you want to be maxed. But it's still not that bad, right? Like if I get to this point when I'm maxed, I'm still going to be pretty confident I can deal with stuff. Obviously, it's going to be a way different story against the Grandmaster, especially if we play against Zerg, I think. Because the first game, I could really feel that the economy was rough. But for this TVT, when you're mostly relying on like big units, it somehow doesn't feel that bad. You get a lot of scans, you get a lot of map vision, and it's actually pretty all right. Now, we haven't played a Protoss yet, so I'll probably find a Protoss next, and then maybe for the Grandmaster, we'll get a zerg or whatever is the most difficult for now fantastic first two games let's keep it going all right game number three is against a high master league player and this is a really big jump i think we just jumped from 3000 mmr to 5000 mmr <laughs> this is a really big jump or maybe it was 3500 last game or so I, I don't quite remember to be honest but i do know it's a very very big jump so this is going to be interesting now i wonder if there's going to be a difference in how the opponents are going to approach uh, my challenge here, right? I, I do have to say, it's it's really not easy for them because I usually just tell them the challenge as we're about to start the game. So they really just have their instinctive reaction to, oh, he's going to play with this handicap, I'm going to do this. They don't have three hours to go to the lab and figure it all out, you know? So I always wonder what their first instinct is. You could tell that the last guy, or especially with the context that I gave you guys, is that his first idea was to just attack me. Um very early with a bunch of reapers the first opponent had the best idea so far out of the two games which was just to make extra units and less drones and try to no matter what survive through uh, or to the late game now this map is a little crazy i played this map in i think it was my last video actually the overlord drop cheese video this map is very small 
it feels like you can stim into your opponent's base from your own base. Like, this is where my ramp is, and this is where my opponent's ramp is pretty much. And the third base is really far away from the natural. Like, this map is a little crazy. This feels like the kind of map where you would go for, like, a two-base all-in or something normally. Now, I'm just going to check what he does. If he's playing a uh, double gas, I'll definitely launch the first depot. If he's not, I might make the depot myself. It should probably be a double gas on this map. Yeah, it is a double gas. Okay, so th this is a little scary, actually. I think what I'm going to do is make the command center in my main base. And I'm mostly going to do that because this map is so small. Like, I think if... I have to play against so many units early on. We're just going to be in too much trouble when I have to defend this low ground. So this up with the even... Yo, this map is actually sick for double gas openers. Like the Reaper Cliff, it's another important point, is really far away from the natural. So it's not like you have to stand here and defend this at the same time. No, you have to defend this and this at the same time. Like it's so far from each other. I'm actually just going to make... Oh, I... Dude, I'm doing the same thing again. I keep trying to drop a mule. It's so automatic. I can't stop it. It's one of the best things I did to just unhopkey that stuff. Um, I think I might actually go for a scan instead of a depot here. Kind of depends. Should I make another Reaper? Or should I just go for the reactor right away? This is actually not that easy. Oh, let me pull this one back before it dies. Oh, see if I can get some damage on here. Just a little bit. I might be able to find him. Um, I don't want to do the scan yet, to be honest. I feel like if I scan now, it's a little too early. I don't, I don't even know what I would find, to be honest. Let's see. Did he leave the Reaper? No, I think he pulled the Reaper back. That would have been a really nice early pickoff if I could kill that. Realistically, he's going to come back with either a Cyclone or a Hellion. And neither of those units I would be able to deal with. Oh, he's going to go for a big attack. Let's see. Oh, I did misclick once there. That's a little painful. Then make sure to kill that Reaper. There we go. If I didn't kill that Reaper, we would have been in trouble. Now I just got to use a couple of these. Really good micro of my opponent so far. I can't actually use my Reaper yet. I'm just trying to bait him. Uh, wait. Oh, I actually managed. I got a hit off without getting hit myself. Okay, that's very nice. So in the end... Uh, oh, that is bad. I'm going to have to pull a lot of SCVs for this. Um, well, actually, it's going to be okay because he's going to be forced to stand on top of that and else I can land it. Let's see. Oh, wait, actually, pretty cool. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to save these SCVs. Okay, this is getting very, very funny uh, because, <laughs> because I have my SCVs on the outside. I don't want to pull these SCVs. Wait, can I repair this? Can I out repair that Hellion? Wait, I, I think I kind of can, right? Let me try to get them out of the line of fire. No, barely not. I do regret making a Cyclone, to be honest, because with this Cyclone, I think think it's gonna finish a little bit too late he's not using the hellion right now which is super nice wait can i kill the hellion wait i think he got a bit nervous oh my god he could have done so much damage for me. okay that's very lucky i'm not gonna lie he did such a good job like he brutally destroyed me in that early fight but then it seemed like he got a little bit nervous i think he could have killed like five more SEVs. but i have to say guys i don't want to go too deep into reading my opponent but judging by the panic from his units I feel like he missed micro because there must be something that gave him that reaction that he suddenly had to build a lot of stuff or something like that, right? So I think we might still be okay. Normally that amount of damage against a 5k player would definitely mean that we're done and dusted. But here, uh, ju just purely judge it. Wait, do I need one? No, I can actually drop a deep player more than enough. Um, I think he might have missed macro there. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm going to go for Ravens behind him. Oh, we're going to get a couple kills. I think there's a tank in that medevac. Let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to drop it over. Wait, if he drops it in here, we're going to be... Oh, I think he's making a big mistake here, guys. I have all my Cyclones here already. Can I get a lock onto the medevac? Barely not, I think. Okay, well, that was close. That could have been a disaster for him, but in the end, it's going to be okay. So there could be a tank inside of there. I, I do think he has it. Yeah, he does actually have a tank in there. Wait, if I can get a lock onto the medevac, that's already going to do a significant amount of damage. All in all, not bad. Now I can launch another depot, which is nice. And then these. I should be able to lock that medevac forever, I think. If I don't mess it up, it kind of depends on how strong his eventual push on the front is going to be. Uh, but I should be able to lock that forever. Let's see. I'm just going to drop scans because what else am I going to do with my freaking money? Now, since his medevac is stuck there, I'm going to try and make my base on location. This is usually a little greedy. Uh, but I think in this scenario, it actually does make sense. I'm going to stay over here with one Cyclone. Actually, I'm going to put one Cyclone over here to spot for the drops. Now, what am I going to do after this? Probably just go for tanks right away. Oh, he actually went for Banshees. That is kind of surprising. I don't really mind it, though, I have to admit. Like, I feel like Banshees just means that he's going to have less Ravens later on. He's going to lose it as well, which is very nice. There we go. He's going to try to go back into the main, and then he's going to see this... 
My lock... Did you guys see that? My freaking lock-on was on cooldown. That's insane. I, I got owned by the freaking nerf a little bit there. My lock-on was on cooldown. Uh, so I couldn't actually lock onto the medevac again. And it was just a normal shot. That hurts a little bit. But we are going to kill it with this Viking now. At least if we didn't get like some legendary recall ability, that is. And I'm just going to do another scan. Let's see. Wait, I can, okay, that was a Marine. I was kind of worried I was going to be a Banshee for a second. Um, if I was him, I probably have made another banshee right because if you're gonna go for cloak you do usually want to get more banshees than that so my interference matrix is finished i do need to make sure i actually switch into bio pretty soon as you can tell my opponent has his cc faster and he has two barracks is already finished and he has his ebay's already finished so we're definitely going to be in a little bit of a disadvantage here uh, but i feel like we can still come back from it like the the power of the mules is really the worst part here because after that early start i think i mentioned it in game one that if you get like too far behind early on i cannot really recover from it that well uh, because of the lack of mules like that is definitely a problem where is the other raven i have all my raven right i don't know where i left it i guess i'll just use the um the f2 button to find it i think that makes sense let's see so i got six cyclos over here got a oh i actually have eight cyclos i thought i only had seven there we go and maybe i can get something done i'm gonna patrol this viking over here just to see drops coming out and now i can tell how low my supply really is my like my supply is actually a bit of a freaking disaster here like i have basically nothing he doesn't have tanks here yet and i have a couple interference matrices guys so this is gonna be a pretty good fight for me here we're gonna kill a bunch of workers instantly which is super nice and then Okay, so there is the Banshee. Yeah, he was saving it all this time. That's a very good move. But I might be able to kill his freaking command center if he's not careful. I don't think uh, I have enough units for now. I need to be so careful against those freaking tanks. I guess I'll just wait for some Vikings to finish. Actually, I can send this to my uh, next base. Let's see. Where, where did the Banshee go? I have to imagine it's here somewhere. Yeah, it is actually here. I'm just going to scan to scare it away. He can very easily fly away from that, but I just need to uh, get it away from my workers for a second. Oh, he's actually going to go for a counter attack. Maybe I can go for my own counter attack. Okay, this is actually going to be super interesting. Now I should be able to kill the Banshee. There we go. And I am going to do some serious damage over here. Is he coming back? I, I would guess not. I'm actually going to send all of these back to the main because he is going to be, uh, be trying to kill me with his army. I am freaking... I can't believe this. I'm out of... Uh, what's it called? Oh, this is actually a really bad fight for him, guys. He's taking a disastrous fight here. The, those tanks already died already. And now I got these cyclos over here too. Oh my god, I think he might have messed it up big time there, guys. He was in a really good spot. I was going to say it's funny because I didn't even have energy uh, to drop freaking supply depots, which is quite painful. I'm going to drop as many turrets as I can, and it's going to help me barely win this fight, which is awesome. And now I can start saturating that again. I clicked those to the wrong base, apparently, which is a little bit painful. I'm going to get an armory out now as well. His units are back. He probably does have enough units to kill these, but this was obviously 100% worth it. Now I'm going to switch these over. Um, I need to defend my bases. Like, I, I did so much much damage to him i just need to make sure i'm not gonna die to like a doom drop so this is when i set up all my bases i'll do a scan in the middle exactly so we can see he's moving out through the middle I'm gonna send a couple of scvs back towards this main base to spread out the saturation a little bit better if i was him exactly i would be going for a drop right now and i should be able to defend that quite comfortably um, if I was him, I'd probably try to go all the way around into the main base, to be honest. So we'll see if he does decide to do that. I don't have medevacs yet, which is a little uh, annoying when it comes to going for counterattacks and stuff like that. I think I'm going to try to look for his medevacs below my sensor tower. I think this is the smartest thing I can do. Let's drop a couple more depots if I can. Only had one available just then. Uh, I, I feel like if, if, if he wants to go for a drop, he should go around the sensor tower, right? So I should be able to find it right here. Or maybe he's just going to go for it full on. Um, let's see. Does he have? He doesn't have combat shield yet. I have 1-1 one, one as well. So this should be fine, but it is a little scary. Actually, he does have a couple more units than I do. So I do need to be careful with this. I'm going to send my Vikings here as well. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty painful fight. I'm so happy that my 1-1 one, one finish just in time but my tank is gonna be oh i thought i owned siege but i didn't that is a massive mistake there by me and it looks like the game has kind of equalized once again he's trying to target the command center for now so i'm actually able to take somewhat of a fight i have a tank siege here now which i can target on top of these uh clumped up marines it does look like it's gonna be uh just not quite enough but i am gonna save the command center which is really nice because i'll just see wait i don't even have to siege it really if i just land these vikings we are gonna be fine but wait oh i have two to start it already okay that's awesome for some reason i thought we still had to start it so that was tough i tried to spread around a little bit too much which yeah you should call it a mistake but i also think it i 
kind of made the right moves there. Maybe I should have just scouted a little more. Like, I'm not unhappy with how I split my army because I think it was very logical. Uh, but if I had a little bit better scouting, then it would have been fine. Looks like he might want to try again to go for the front. He does have combat shields now as well. Let's see, he's going to kill those rocks. I I'm even... Maybe I should make a bunker. I haven't seen a siege tank in a while. Does he have to do? Okay, so he does have a couple siege tanks. That means I have to make my own liberators. Or just have to make my liberators. Because if I don't have those, we are probably going to die. Looks like he is going to try to go in there. Which is a little bit surprising. When they fall back just as he falls back. It looks like those tank shots are going to be able to do the trick. I mean, if my command center stays alive, there's always going to be a shot. As long as that CC doesn't die, we might be okay. So I'm just going to use my two Vikings over here. I think I'm not going to kill a tank there. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, I was actually wrong. Let's go. I did manage to kill a tank. That's nice. Let's see. He still doesn't have 2-2, guys. Like, 2-2 is freaking massive in TBT. Like, absolutely massive. So, if I ever get 2-2 up, there is going to be a little bit of a shot. I do have a lot of turrets as well. My 2-2 is now finished. And now I'm going to go for the counter drop. This is the play that can still bring this game back for me. Uh, ideally, I get... Wait, where did... Oh, there's the Liberators. Let's see. Does he still have the tanks over here? No, he actually moved around with the tanks. That's kind of surprising. Look, you can tell that he's F2 stimming all the way across. Yo, those Liberators are going to pop off. He was trying to kill it with his... Wait, I think I can get on top of here. I don't think he has 2-2 yet, right? Yeah, he doesn't have 2-2. Those Marines are going to kill everything he has. And I have one tank at home to defend. He's going to lose his entire main base. And now he's going to have to go back. Let's see. The eBays e are researching. I think it wouldn't actually be that crazy. Oh, he went for a big drop. Guys, the 2-2 is going to make all the difference here. I don't think he can actually kill that because of the 2-2. And there we go. All right. Well, th this this was a game, okay? <laughs> I feel like we lost this game twice, but we still brought it back. Our opponent had a fourth base and he had one of the eBay's researching, but me starting 2-2 here was actually what won me this game. I'm sure when I was talking about it, you guys were still like, Mark, just leave the game. You're freaking dead. All right. Like you're absolutely owned. But the 2-2 upgrades, me starting them after this. Wait, these upgrades were actually faster than mine. This is what I mean. If he starts 2-2 here, look at his money. This game is completely different. I think he actually wins the game if he starts 2-2 here. But instead, wait, this actually was alive. For some reason in my head, that was dead. Makes sense that he had more economy, especially with the mules, right? But if he starts 2-2 here, I think this game is completely completely different and we lose but with the 2-2 two -two we win so that is the game losing or game winning action however you want to call it but this game was freaking tense we really got owned at the start our opponent had a very good micro but made maybe some decision making mistakes and that brought it back so we beat a 5k player let's try a grandmaster Game number four is going to be against a very rare Grandmaster random player. I think he's about 5.4k MMR, so almost 500 above the last opponent. Now, it's obviously going to be a little difficult to see uh, or to plan the strategy already when I'm playing as a random player, but I always do think that Terran is pretty good at playing against random. I feel like Protoss kind of has the short end of the stick there because they, like in some races, they have the wall on the low ground, and in some races, they wall on the high ground. But as a Terran, I mean, sometimes you want to do something more specific. I know a lot of Terrans would disagree with me purely because they feel like they have to play double gas openings against Terran or some people against Protoss. But realistically, you can just Reaper expand in every matchup as long as you know how to do it. And um, that's just what I'm going to do. Now, so far, I had the intention to drop my first depot instantly on the first depot from the orbital and i think i've autopiloted out of doing it every single time or maybe i remembered once i'm not quite sure but so far it hasn't been going very well so i guess we'll see i mean i i still think there might be something to say for not dropping it right away if i'm playing against the cheese because normally there's no question whatsoever you drop mules but here since I do have the choice between dropping a depot and scanning, if I play against something particularly cheesy, it could actually be nice for me to use the scan instead. But even then, I might still be able to scan in time if I use the second 50 energy that I get. Oh, we're playing against a Zerg here, actually. Um, is that a hatch first? I actually can't tell because I scouted super, super fast. Let's see. Oh, no, it actually wasn't a hatch first. Okay, that is quite nice for me that I scouted so early. It's actually a little bit risky doing builds like that. Um, because I'm going to scout ex as a random player, I mean, because I'm going to scout extra early to know what race he is. Okay, this definitely looks like something cheesy. So what I'm going to do is I would drop the depot already. But I think I need the wall off. So I guess I might as well uh, just do it this way. I'm going to send the Reaper across. And this definitely looks like something very cheesy. He was even mining more than 100 gas. I know he was researching Zergling speed. Um, 
but there was still more than enough ga gas being mined to add like a roach warren or perhaps a bailing nest as well could be both things i'm not quite sure what i want to go for yet i'm gonna go for a reactor that's for sure but do i want to make hellions or do i want to make cyclones i'm not quite sure let's see if i can get a scout here keep in mind i do still have the scan he has about 150 gas mined which is really not that much it could just be like a couple of roaches as well nothing uh, too scary this SUV has not seen another base there are no drones here i do like that portrait by the way that portrait is very cool the tassar one I remember back in the day when I played Protoss, I used to think the moment I get that portrait, that's when I'm a real player, you know? <laughs> I don't know why, but I was like, everyone who has that portrait, they, they, you have to win a thousand games with Protoss on the ladder. That's that's when you're the real deal, you know? So that, that's always what I thought and I used it for a very long time until I realized that it has zero impact on however good or bad you may be. Now, what do I do after this? So my opponent looks like he's actually transitioning into playing more of a macro game. He stopped mining gas without, uh, or with two of his drones. I think there was only one drone left. Now he's back to three. He has an evolution chamber. Okay, so I think at this point I can just go into macro mode, launch a couple depots. Uh, wait, I didn't even know that. You actually cannot do that when you're moving the depot. Like if you were doing this, you could technically never drop it. So I'm going to save 200 minerals on that, and I'm going to use that to make my third command center. I can always go for a scan later on. Um, let's see, how do I want to... I don't really want to play mech. I played mech in the first game against the Platinum Zerg, and I wasn't entirely convinced. So against the Grandmaster, it's going to be extra scary. I think I'm yeah, not even going to get one Zergling there. Keep in mind, the Cyclones are significantly weaker now for the macro game, so I'm a little scared in making too many of them. I think I'm just going to move out with this. I'm going to do a scan. I mean, he knows what challenge I'm doing, so he's not going to be too weirded out. Actually, I'm going to scan both bases. Rotor and Evo Chamber. Dude, I, I can't believe these scans have actually been kind of valuable. Like, I don't want to say it too loud, because then you guys are just going to be scanning all the time and having no economy, right? But these scans have actually been pretty good. Like, seriously, they have been pretty good. So, that's, uh, that's quite nice. At least we're getting some value out of that. He's moving away the drones. I can snipe this overlord. I have a lot of gas, which I'm not going to be able to use for a while. I think I will just um, skip the third and fourth gas for a while. I think that would be smart to do. I do have to send these back because otherwise... Uh, wait. Oh, there's the reactor. For some reason, I thought this was a tech lad. I was wondering. I thought I had another reactor available for my barracks. Yeah, he could have counterattacked with his links already. So I just came back... Um, you know, because I didn't have a wall up yet. I guess I'll finish the wall now. And that's going to give me three more supply depots to drop depots on top of later on. So that's going to be... Uh, I don't know if that's going to help me hit any timings. But it is going to, you know, lower the pressure on my economy a little bit. I th maybe I should skip an orbital there. I'm, I'm actually curious what you guys have been thinking all this time. Like, skipping an orbital makes sense, right? Like, I've had so many scans that I don't really need more. But at the same time, I, I do kind of run out of scans at some point. Let's see, I guess I'll just try to kill these tumors. My opponent's still playing a little sus. Probably get a couple of Zerglings there easily. He's trying to get one of the Cyclones. Uh, as long as I don't lose any of the Cyclones, that's going to be good. I'm a little afraid of, like, a big Roach attack. Like, I, the strategy that he's going for, if he's going to use this to hit a really big Roach attack, that's going to be pretty hard to deal with because of the lack of economy. Like, here it's six minutes, and I have almost nothing. Like, I feel like my, my economy... Wait, can I... Should I make a planetary instead? That's not a bad idea, right? Like, if he's gonna roach me, I can make a planetary. I'll make a bunker on this side. Maybe I can run by with the Hellions as well. Yeah, I kind of like this idea, actually. Like, I wanted to skip the orbital anyway. So, the way I'm doing this... I guess this base is gonna be really safe anyway. And then I just need to make sure that my natural save as well. I can make another bunker here. This is definitely the scariest moment for me right now. Because he could be attacking me with a big amount of roaches already. Let me make sure I kill this overseer. Do I have to stim for that? Probably not, right? I don't think so. No, there we go. Is that a changeling? I feel like I heard him drop a changeling, but I didn't see it anywhere. So that is a little bit annoying. Let's see if I can get some damage with this. That'd be very nice. Okay, so we are going to get into the natural. He doesn't have that many drones, I think. I still feel like he's trying to hit some kind of a timing attack. He has a lot of zerglings. More than I would have expected, to be honest. Let's see if I can get one more good volley. Uh, good enough. So there was a couple of roaches walking across. You can see those clearly. Let me make sure to get combat shield. Maybe even another bunker up here. 
Actually, I could take my gases on my third base as well. That's kind of funny. Okay, so let's scan the bases. Yeah, there's not enough drones there. There, there has to be like at least 5 million roaches in front of my base. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. The fourth base is building. The other fourth base is not building. But the lack of drones here makes me very suspicious. I'm going to put the tank all the way up there. He sees the planetary now. He must be like, oh my goodness, obviously. Uh, he didn't think of that, but it makes a lot of sense that I have a planetary, right? I'm just going to keep scanning his army as well. With these units, I'm going to have to run away at some point. Uh, I have the second bunker over here, and I do have the wall. I don't think he ever really wants to attack the planet there, because it's going to be so good against the Zerglings. Let's see, I'm going to get another tank out here as well. Let me make sure to hot key these extra barracks. I don't have an armor yet. That's a little bit of a mistake. I guess I was a little too... Did I just scan my own base? Wait, what did I scan? How the hell did I do that? I actually have no idea how I just scanned that. I, I didn't even I couldn't even find the scan. I was like, what the hell did I just do? Okay, so our supply is growing. Actually, I don't think I can really This is greedy by me what I'm doing here. This is very greedy. I'm just kind of banking on the fact he's not gonna try to attack the planetary anymore, right? But if he goes there, he would probably cancel that. I do have my tanks in a very good position. I'm gonna make a third over here. Let's see if he's still there. This is where the non-stop scans are really coming in handy. Okay. Oh, he's actually gonna go for that. That's unfortunate. I think I'm just gonna cancel it because there's no way I'm gonna keep that alive. I'm gonna trust in my planetary and my tanks and just go for it now, I think. I know this is a little crazy, my supply is only 133 at this point. I think with the amount of damage that has happened, I should probably have been maxed. So that really shows how tough this is. I'm going to spend all my gas on this. I still don't have extra gases, by the way. Like, I've really been running on just uh, the gases on my main and then eventually my third at some point. So he's taking extra gases himself. That could mean that he is trying to tech up. Like, maybe he's going to go into... Could be like Mutas or... I guess it could be anything really. Most commonly, a follow-up to this would be uh, Lurkers, I think. Lurkers make a lot of sense. I'm going to be able to take this base down. There we go. That's already a really nice pickoff. And then I'm going to go... Nah, that's a few too many links, right? He doesn't have attack upgrade, so I could have considered it. Let's see. I actually don't have a scan. Uh, if only I had more orbitals, guys, instead of planetaries. That would have been great. Could be a good idea for me to go for an attack pretty soon. Uh, I've used so many scans that I haven't even been able to drop supply depots. Uh, wait, are you guys... Is this one of these a changeling, or is this tank really just owning us all? I think it was just the siege tank, right? Let's see. I'm going to do another scam. I think the vision has been a little more important than the depots would have been, so I'm not unhappy with the fact that I've had to build so many deep. Actually, it would be smart if I don't build any more and just get my last couple of supplies, which is just 12 from uh, the depots, because I, that's the only value I can really get from it, right? So I do think that's quite important. His upgrades are freaking better than mine. He has 2-2 on his roaches. You don't see that very often. Wait, he's gonna try to fight against the marines, so I'm just gonna uh, use the opportunity to try and focus fire some drones. Like these marines I'm gonna be able to replace pretty easily. His upgrades are scarily good, by the way, I have to say. Like, those are really good upgrades. 2-2 two, two, that fast? That's, that's pretty terrifying. Let's see if I can attack this. Probably gonna send some roaches there. Not that many, only send a couple. Uh, I need to get my units over to my next base so I can take it. I'm gonna siege a couple liberators like this. Uh, I'm gonna make another command center here as well. Let's see, do I have enough supply or enough energy rather? Not quite yet. So I'm only gonna be able to get one. If he, oh, that's a pretty big or pretty scary defester count. I actually didn't see that coming. Wait, he used the fungus, but he didn't actually get particularly massive hits. I'm gonna be able to destroy his entire army here, or not the entire army, because I know that he had roaches and links somewhere. Uh, but I did kill a really big amount of army, and it looks like he wants to try and go again. But this is still a planetary, guys. Like, he doesn't want to fight against that. I think if he fights it, he's just going to lose everything. He's not going to be able to kill that. I do like the idea of uh, corrosive biling down the SCVs while I'm forced to repair it. That is really not a bad idea. I'm going to be able to kill this tank. My army is starting to get a little bit low HP, probably because of the Liberator that I built. I still think that the planetary is going to hold its own just fine. Like, I don't have to worry about it at all. Especially since the investors died, of course. If the investors were still there, that would be a different story. Now I'm going to send this drop to the top base. My saturation is starting to look pretty decent. I have almost 70 SCVs, which is really not that bad. I'm going to send another drop as well. I am really running low on medevacs. I only have two medevacs. But if he wants to push through here, uh, I think he's going to end up crying. Like, I know his army is pretty big. I don't know. 
a bunch of SUVs that are not well saturated, like my, uh, or a bunch of mineral lines that are not well saturated, I should say. Like, I'm not quite happy with how that all looks. He's in front of my base, and it looks like he might go for it, right? Looking from the army movement on the mini. I'm actually going to target down the uh, Ravagers. Look at this. I can just get it to the back and target down all the Ravagers. The planetary is doing very well. Uh, it's actually tanked a lot for me. I killed a bunch of Ravagers, but not quite enough. Like, keep in mind, I was missing all of these units, which is going to make it way harder. He's going to go in here, but this is going to be very painful. There's so many tanks up there. Let me make sure I actually get that going. Uh, the drop into the top side, at least. There we go. He's a couple of Ravagers left. I don't think I want to fight it yet. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to target this base, and I'm going to target this base down as well. I mean, I have another planetary uh, down there, right? So he can't really kill that. So I killed that base, and I'm going to kill the drones. It looks like he really has just been going for a massive all in. And here come the Marauders that I've been building all this time. I'm going to be able to kill that army. I'm killing all of his bases, and now I think my opponent is running out of economy. He did kill that base over here, but I am there, and I can simply... Uh, fly my main orbital over we've been killing a lot of the overlords and there we go all right zero mules and we beat a grandmaster now i have to say i i think this challenge comes down a lot to the strategy but uh, at the same time i think the strategy was a lot better than i gave it credit for like not necessarily the economy my economy always felt bad my supply was low but the scans gave me so much information and the early game was so solid with the launch of that early depot that all in all this was really not that bad i thought we were going to get absolutely destroyed by the grandmaster but the addition of the scans and the depots made it a lot better maybe i should go for the no macro mechanics at all next time maybe not even planetary which is nothing that upgrades from the command center and that'd be awesome but for today we managed to do the challenge and that is awesome we beat a platinum player a diamond player a 5k masters and then a 5.4k random grandmaster and that's gonna be it for today hope you guys had a good time if you did make sure to give a video a like subscribe to the channel and i'll see y'all for the next one adios